explain the solidification of metals and alloys. First, let's discuss the solidification of metals. When we pour the molten metal in the mold cavity, we see that the solidification process starts from the sides of the mold, then moves towards the molten metal. This is because the sides of the mold provide sufficient cooling to the molten metal. After some time, we see that the molten metal solidifies in the form of randomly oriented crystals. The region where the crystals are formed act as the production area and is called the nucleus. When the molten metal solidifies further, we see that the shape of the crystals changes to long columna crystals. having their axis perpendicular to the sides of the mold. Thus the shape of the molten metal crystals formed will be as shown. Note that during solidification of metals the temperature remains constant. This can be represented graphically as Now let's discuss the solidification of alloys. When we pour the molten alloy in the mold, we see that the solidification process takes place in the same manner as in case of solidification of metals. The only difference is that the crystals formed will have a dendritic structure as shown. Note that during solidification of alloys, the transition from liquid to solid state occurs during the change in temperature. This can be represented graphically as Thus we can say that solidification of metal results in the formation of long columna crystals and solidification of alloy results in the formation of crystals having a dendritic structure. The related terms are